Hubble versus Arecibo. The Hubble Space Telescope has an aperture of 2.4 meters and focuses visible light 380 to 750 nanometers. The Arecibo Radio Telescope in Puerto Rico is 305 meters in diameter. It's built in a mountain valley and focuses radio waves of wavelength 75 centimeters. Part A. Under optimal viewing conditions, what is the smallest crater that each of these telescopes could resolve on our moon? The distance to the moon is 3.810 to 8 meters. Part B. If the Hubble Space Telescope were to be converted to surveillance use, what is the highest orbit above the surface of the Earth it could have and still be able to resolve the license plate, not the letters, just the plate of a car on the ground? Assume optimal viewing conditions so that the resolution is diffraction limited and the size of the license plate is approximately 0.3 meters. Now, uh, this problem is about Rayleigh's resolution criterion and we have uh, two different aperture sizes. Uh, D is equal to 2.4 meters for a wavelength range 380 to 750 nanometers. Uh, we have the Hubble telescope and the aperture size D is 305 meters the wavelength is 75 centimeters for the Arecibo telescope. In part A, we're talking about uh, viewing a crater on our moon with uh, both of these telescopes. So if we are uh, looking at a source of light, so two different sources of light basically hitting our aperture uh, with an angular separation uh, theta, you can see that we have uh, x, the distance, the radius of the uh, crater that we will observe will be uh, related to this triangle here, right triangle here with uh, the apex angle being theta over 2. Now, what is the minimum angular resolution? Theta is the minimum angle that we can resolve. That is equal to 1.22, the wavelength divided by the diameter of the aperture for circular apertures. This result is known as Rayleigh's resolution criterion. Okay, and tangent theta over 2, as you can see from this uh, right triangle, would be equal to x divided by L, where L is the distance between the, uh, the source of light and sources of light and the aperture. So tangent theta over 2 is equal to x divided by L, the distance, and uh, for small angles, because we're talking about minimum angle of resolution, tangent theta over 2 would be approximately equal to theta over 2 for theta small. And that's exactly what we have here. So with that, we obtain uh, theta over 2 is uh, tangent theta over 2 is x over L. So theta over 2 is x over L. And therefore, we find that 2x is equal to theta l. All right. Uh, so that's basically what we are uh, trying to resolve here. So 2x will be the diameter of the uh, crater that we're trying to resolve. It's 1.22. Uh, lambda over d, the aperture size, uh, that's theta, 1.22 lambda over d. So uh, for theta, we substitute this multiplied with L. So basically, that's the size of the aperture we can resolve.
the size of the crater we can resolve sorry now if we plug in the numbers for Hubble telescope we have 2x Hubble equals to 1.22 Uh, the wavelength is uh, because we're looking for the uh, minimum angle here the, we can take the minimum wavelength 380 times 10 to minus 9 that's minimum wavelength and then we have L the distance to the moon is given in the problem 3.8 10 to 8 meters 3.8 10 to 8 meters divided by the diameter of the aperture 2.4 so this gives us for the diameter of the uh, crater 73 meters so that's the minimum diameter we can resolve using the Hubble telescope if we use a Recibo telescope uh, we have 2x a is equal to 1.22 now the wavelength has changed 75 10 to minus 2 times l 3.8 10 to 8 divided by the diameter 305 which gives us 2xa the size of the crater measured by the arecibo the minimum size is 1.1 10 to 6 meters so we can see that uh, Hubble is basically preferable for this task because the minimum crater size we can measure is much less now in part B we're trying to uh, look at a plate uh, and we want to know the highest orbit above the surface of the earth that we can have uh, the Hubble telescope so that means we're looking for the distance L between the telescope and the plate and the size of a plate Delta Y is approximately 0 0.3 meters um, so the maximum L we're looking for uh, will correspond to the minimum uh, wavelength so Delta Y as we have uh, shown here is basically uh, 1.22 lambda L over D so Delta Y that, that we will measure is 1.22 lambda L over D so uh, L is equal to delta Y times D divided by 1.22 lambda so remember this 1.22 is our geometrical correction factor for circular apertures now you can see in order to have the maximum distance I need to have the minimum wavelength here because it's in the denominator okay so if I substitute the numbers L is equal to 0 0.3 meters is the size of the plate uh, the diameter aperture diameter is 2.4 meters divided by 1.22 wavelength is the minimum wavelength 380 10 to minus 9 so this gives me the uh, distance from the earth to the telescope 1.6 times 10 to 6 meters so that's the highest orbit I can have uh, the Hubble telescope to be able to fully resolve or just resolve uh, this an object with the size of a license plate okay so in this problem we are comparing two telescopes Hubble telescope Arecibo telescope they both have a circular aperture with diameters 2.4 and 305 meters and uh, one works with visible light in the range 380 to 750 nanometers the other one works with uh, radio waves wavelength 75 nanometers centimeters 
So first we want to measure a crater on the moon and what is the smallest crater that these telescopes can resolve using Rayleigh's resolution criterion the minimum angular resolution for light coming from two ends of the crater uh, will be 1.22 lambda over d and l is the distance between the telescope and the source of light which is the light coming from the crater so uh, Tangent theta over 2, as you can see here, is uh, x over l. x is the radius of the crater. And for small angles, tangent theta over 2 is theta over 2. That means 2x is equal to theta l. The diameter of the crater we will measure is the minimum angular, uh, angular resolution times l. So 2x is 1.22 lambda over d multiplied with l so we substitute the numbers and we see that hubble can measure a much smaller uh, can resolve a much smaller crater uh, if we use the hubble telescope to resolve a plate on earth which is about the size of a plate is about 0 0.3 meters now we're looking at light coming from two ends of a plate uh, on the telescope what is the maximum distance between the Hubble telescope and the plate so that we can just resolve it uh, the same argument applies here 1.22 lambda L over D is the size so L is delta Y D over 1.22 lambda in order to have the maximum uh, distance we need to have the minimum wavelength delta y is 0 0.3 diameter is 2.4 and the minimum wavelength we can work with is 380 nanometers that gives us a maximum distance 1.6 times 10 to 6 meters